wish I had a friend to play with. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Here, birdie, birdie. little friend. Here's some more bread. <laughs> Gee, Ma, it's lonesome without anyone to play with. Now, don't you worry, Casper. I have a big surprise for you. You have? What's that? Well, let's go and see. It's Cousin Spooky. Yes, and he's going to spend the weekend with us. <laughs> Cousin Spooky's real cute. Now you two run along while I get lunch ready. Come on, Spooky. Let's play hide and seek. Yeah, let's go out and scare people. Ooh, ooh. Spooky. Good ghosts don't scare people. We're going to play hide and seek. Ah, that's a sissy game. I want to scare people. I want to scare people. Now you count to ten while I hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come, ready or not. Hmm. Now I wonder where Casper's hiding. <laughs> to be an honest-to-goodness good ghost if you keep insisting on scaring people.
I still got the hiccups. Thank goodness. It's time for my pill. The last one. It's just got to work. Wake up! There goes my only hope. Well, what do you know? If hiccups you got and you want them to go, there is one sure cure, eat a fresh caught crow. Hmm. That sounds logical. This to the mockingbird. This to the mockingbird. A chick that's got a woogie woogie feet. This to the mockingbird. This to the mockingbird. She's making with a mocking that's really neat. Here I goes as the crow flies. <laughs> Bread, no more or no fewer. <laughs> Eat the crow in between them, and your hiccups your cure. Uh uh, that cat has a bad case of hiccups. That's all I has to know. <laughs> now, boss, 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 boss. I hate to interrupt you while you was eating, boss, but I know of a sure cure for the hiccups. Really? Yeah, no, boss. Hiccup Burger Money calls me. Now, all you have to do is breathe inside this paper bag. That sounds logical. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Don't stop breathing. Inhale, exhale. Wait up! Wait up! It didn't work. Uh-oh. Didn't work. Uh, now, boss, a sure enough cure is to count to ten and drink a glass of water between each count. Hmm. That sounds logical. Now, start counting, boss. One. Two. 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 Three. Two. Four. Two. Five. Two. Six. Two. Seven. Two. Eight. Two. Nine. It didn't work again. Now don't get discouraged, boss. The only genuine sure cure is the shock treatment. Hmm, shock treatment. That sounds logical. Now just relax, boss, while I comfort you with this electric blanket. Contact! <laughs> Way for the cold treatment. So long, stupid. This time I'm doing what the book says. Now, now, boss, boss, let's not jump to concussions. We still didn't try the scare treatment.
guess that cures his hiccups for good. Wake up! Wake up! Two. Wake up! Three. Wake up! Four. Wake up! Five. Wake up! Six. Wake up! Seven. Wake up! Eight. Wake up! Nine. Service department, Charlie speaking. What's your problem? I was watching a TV panel show and my set went off. That's so. No picture? No picture. Black screen? Just a black screen. Probably a tube. It was a wonderful show. I was spellbound. No kidding. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a man over in five minutes. <laughs> Send for a TV repairman, mister? Yeah, I was listening to a panel show and went off. That's so? I was engrossed. No kidding. I think it's a two. Say, that's quite a set. It's a ten-incher. You think it's worth fixing? They really know how to build them in the old days. So how come it broke? You take a fighter. <laughs> After 30 years, his legs go, right? What's legs got to do with it? It's not a console model. You're a young man, right? Your legs are still good, right? What do you know about old legs, correct? I think it's a two. I'll let you know what it is. I told you, it doesn't work. And here he is, Eddie Gordon. Say, it's waking again. <laughs> hey, why did you switch it off? It was waking again. I heard a terrible hum, didn't you? That was the applause. That's the worst kind. I'll take it out of the shop and give it the once-over. Wait a minute. Can't you give it the once-over here? You got no once-over equipment. Maybe it was momentary. Maybe the electricity went off in the house. Look at that electric clock. It's three hours slow. I better take that clock in, too. For what? The once-over. Probably just needs a cleaning. Hold it, hold it. I'd like to try the TV set again. Do you mind? Hey, you nothing. Leave it warm up first. It should go on like that. It went on like that. Here he is, Eddie Gordon. Didn't you hear it? You didn't hear Eddie, boy, did you? Take my advice, pal. Don't overdo it. I'll take it down to the shop for the once-over. How much is the once-over? 27 bucks for the set. Make it 26.50. The clock will hit you for another 29. And what about that lamp? Well, what about it? The light ain't burning. That's because it ain't turned on. Okay, the lamp stays and it doesn't cost you a penny, except for the service charge runs you four ninety eight. Stay away from the toaster, mister. May as well try that too while I'm here. Stand back, I'm gonna plug it in. And here he is, Eddie Cork! There's that static again. Where's that plug? your phone, mister? So long as you don't call Canada. Oh, you must think I'm a crook or something. Hello, Charlie. Ralph. I got a guy here, 30 West 55th, who gets Eddie Gordon on the toaster. Bring it in and give it the once-over. Okay. Charge you another 10 bucks for the toaster and make it 975. How about the radio phonograph? Oh, something wrong with that, too? Oh, it works all right. Only when I put on the radio, I get the phonograph. And when I put on the phonograph, the washing machine stops. Fabulous machine, mister. They really know how to build them in the old days. So how come it rips my clothes to shreds? I'll tell you what. Let me take those two items in for the once-over. Give me a hand here, will you, buddy? That's a pilot right on top there. That's a boy. There we are. Now open the door for me.
Where's the elevator? I can't see a thing. To your right. Over here? That's it. Now take a sharp left. Sharp left, eh? Watch the stairway. <laughs> Service department, Charlie speaking. What's your problem? Hi, Charlie. 30 West 55th calling. Ralph's on the first landing, and the Late Late Show is coming out of his forehead. Yeah, I think he needs the once-over. <laughs> Everybody. Ain't anybody home? Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, this is a fine greeting. And who's that cactus catastrophe out there? That hungry is Cat Carson, Hyman. And he's driving us plumb local. Cat Carson, eh? Well, just leave him to your cousin Hyman. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my gosh! There's nothing like a Western armbed smothered with mouse rooms. Gosh, I'll have to work fast. <laughs> Gee, thanks, boss. <laughs> <laughs>